what is the best advice you'd give to somebody who is seeking death? Persevere. Life is. It's fine. Not really. Strawberry sucks. Actually, you know what? Can't eat this anymore. Yeah. People like you are the future of this world. Life itself is a source of sin. It's a blasphemously toxic idea which manipulates people into believing that they are weak when they do not wish to live in this world. One person says, God, this existence is pointless. I don't want to live anymore. What do the people say to him? They say that he has no will to live. And you can so clearly foresee your own life rotting away from itself like a leaf that rots without falling. Isn't it? Isn't it stronger to just tear it off? I fail to find any reasoning to logically dissect the idea of our birth. We were born because we were meant to. It's a part of our destiny. Humanity is God's curse and blessing. Blessing because it gives us memories, food, love, art, a curse. It gives us depression, genocide, death, alienation to free ourselves from the pain of being born. To be free? Absolutely not. There are all kinds of unhappy people in this world. The world is carved out of unhappy people. But my unhappiness has stemmed entirely from my own vices. And I had no way of fighting anybody. Not even myself. There is a reason why I'm here. I ended my story exactly where I wanted it to end. Because I didn't want to know anymore. Precisely because I don't want to. Because that's what I want it to be. When I died, I told myself, this is the only memory that matters. <laughs> no, sir. I'm happy with my lack of knowledge, with my lack of memory. This is what I want. Do you know the story with the spider? But hey, you know that one, the one where the king from Ireland or Scotland tries to destroy the net of a spider, adamant on building its web. But no matter how many times he tries to spoil it, the spider will just get back up and try rebuilding its web. This inspires the dude. And he's like, if this little insignificant creature can get back up after so many fails, why can't I? So, he goes back to war. But the eighth time, and after seven losses, he wins. Moral of the story, never give up. But there's just one problem. You see, a spider is really insignificant to us, evolutionarily speaking. A spider has no thoughts, no desires, no remorse. It keeps on building its web not because it's motivated to, but because it is genetically programmed to. It is its flaw in coding. It, it's tasked pushing a boulder down the hill till it dies. <laughs> If we are expected to do the same, you're asking us to give up our consciousness. But you know what? Maybe we should. Maybe we're too self-aware for our own good. But as long as we are conscious, as long as we have the choice, sometimes the best advice you could give to someone is to just give up because there's happiness in not existing. You know how the spider weaves and weaves, unable to think or unable to stop? I think that's because the entire point of a spider's existence is in its weaving in the web. But we don't have a point to our existence, do we? We are not born into this perpetual cycle of building and rebuilding webs to be trapped in. We just equal wastes of spaces on this planet. And in a way, life is just one big act of embracing our failed attempts in those little moments of silence. Not always. What do you even compare your strength to if you don't allow yourself to be miserable and weak and defeated once in a while? Not anymore. I was once and I remember being so desperate to get out of that misery but it just feels silent. Calm now. Don't you make the best memories in those moments of vulnerability? You know, actually I do remember something. 
I don't know. I don't know why this is the only memory I have. It all feels so far gone now. Like it was a lifetime or two ago. I remember sunlight falling on my face. Sunlight filtered through the fingers of someone. I can feel the soft and warm touch of fingers on my cheeks. Kind of the only memory I have of ever being alive. I was lying on the grass in my lover's arms and I was crying or, or maybe I was laughing but I knew that in that exact moment I was complete. I can't call it regret. I don't know what to call it. So what advice would you give to someone seeking death? I don't think we ever realize how selfish we are in longing for death. Not because we leave behind people who will have to bear our decision, but because we leave behind ourselves. We just, we cease to believe that we are worth another chance. We just. We just rob ourselves of any opportunity to feel anything beyond that moment. You know, the king winning the war wasn't really important. But that he bet on life instead of death. The moment I choose to die, I freeze time for myself. I, nothing I do matters and, and I'm free. But I'll be so lonely.